everyone, this is Sara and welcome back to my channel. I know that I have been missing in action but I am back with a video and this is about a comparison between my beauty blender and my foundation brushes which is this one and let's see which works better. Beauty blender has just launched in Pakistan and I am so glad because this is my favorite product but I wanted to show you guys if this works better than the brushes. So today I'm going to be using the black edition and this limited edition pink soul one. Uh, I got these colors. I love the nude as well and the pink one too, but I don't think there's a difference between the, the colors and their quality. So let's get started and let's see which works better. So as you can see guys that I'm done with my eyes and my skin is all prepped. I use the Body Shop uh, Oil of Life for my moisturizing and my Smashbox Primer which is not with me, it's inside and I'm, I'm not going to move and show you but I'll link all the products down below. So we'll start with the foundation application. I'll do the Beauty Blender on this side of my face and the brush on this side. So let's get started. Today I am going to be using the Giorgio Armani Foundation Luminous Silk Foundation. I just love these but as you guys know that I was on holidays for like a month and on the beach so I am comparatively tan though my shade is number 5 but today I am going to be mixing uh, shade number 6.5 and 5 together. So let's do it. This face beauty blender right? Yeah. So I'm going to be mixing my foundation and I am used to of applying it with my hand, like with my finger. So I'm going to be doing... My forehead is like really, really tan. So guys, I've applied the foundation all over my face and I'm going to be using this brush first. This is the Sigma F80 brush, the Kabuki brush and I just love this. But let's see which works better. So when applying foundation, make sure that um, you're doing all the downward strokes. Actually, I love this brush, but the only problem that I face on myself and on clients as well that it leaves screeches. Like you can see that the foundation is missing from some parts, and you can see lines on your face, which is really, really like disturbing, especially when I'm doing my clients. Guys, my forehead is really dark, and I wonder whether the camera is picking this really bright, but it's actually pretty okay as far as the color is concerned because I've mixed a very dark shade with my own shade and still picking up very bright but we like bright um, so this is how the, the foundation looks with the brush uh, now let's see how it works with beauty blender so the trick is that you have to pounce the blender on your skin for the foundation to absorb and you can see that my brush was really dirty but you can see like my brush was not clean but still when I wash the brush a lot of product actually comes out it means that it, it absorbs a lot of product but the beauty blender does not uh, as compared to the brushes and if you ask me I'm so used to of applying the foundation with my blender that even if I don't find a blender and I do it with my brush, I always go and uh, you know pat it with my blender just to make sure that it's blended and it's absorbed in my skin like really properly. I am so not used to of these videos anymore, so it's gonna take me some time to look in the camera and do my. If you know what I mean, the struggle. And I really, 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 really am so, like, I really like how these YouTubers do. Because this consumes a lot of time and effort. So guys, if you missed it, you must have noticed that unintentionally and mistakenly, I went on the other half of my face as well, which I did with a brush because I'm so used to of this but this definitely definitely hands down works better than the brush while you apply the foundation because as I said it absorbs less product and uh, the application is flawless so 
one point for this baby versus the brush. So guys, now it's time to apply the concealer. I am using the dark shape tape concealer in the shade light medium for myself uh, because I like my under eyes to be really highlighted, but uh, you can use medium or the darker shade if you have more dark circles. So uh, yeah, we will apply uh, the concealer on this side of the face and blend it with a beauty blender because this side we're doing with blender. And we're gonna blend this side with a brush just to show you that what works better. Um, a lot of people have different preferences when it comes to the seen so many people applying foundation with their fingers, with hands, which is like really impressive, but I can't do it. So the concealer brush that I really like, and I wanted to compare the best brushes with the Beauty Blender. So the concealer brush which I really like is the Sephora one. It's the brush number 57. I'll link all the products down below if you're interested in my description box. And I'm gonna be using the black edition of the Beauty Blender on my right side of the face. And the left side will be done with Sephora brush. I'm doing the Beauty Blender first because last time I uh, went over on this side of the face with the blender so this time I don't want to do that and we'll use the beauty blender first so that I don't pick up the beauty blender again. So as you can see guys this is like in two swipes like I don't never swipe the beauty blender you have to pat it and bounce it on your skin so that the product is completely absorbed in the skin So it literally took me like how much? Uh, 30 seconds to blend this, this concealer in. Now we'll use the brush. I don't know what people used to do when Beauty Blender was not here in the makeup industry. I cannot imagine myself using my fingers or brushes, especially I can do foundation with a brush, but not concealer. I don't think I can ever achieve the flawless look that a beauty blender gives with a brush. But I really like this concealer brush. If you want to try and you're not comfortable with a blender or sponge, you can definitely give a look into this one. So that's the side that I did with a brush and if you notice, they can, you can still see that the product is sitting right up there and you can see my bags as well. I don't know why, but they are visible in the camera. Anyways guys, to save some time, I'm gonna bounce my blender on my forehead and just... Um, I don't know if you can see, but this side of the face is like super duper blended as compared to this side of my face which is light blended but first it took me a lot of time to blend the under eye with a brush and second I will anyways pick up my blender and will go on my brush application to make sure that it's all blended so I'm gonna save my time and use the beauty blender in the first place so yeah so guys next step is translucent powder we'll apply it on my under eye area I just apply translucent powder on my uh, under eyes and I just applied translucent powder on my under eyes and today I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder, my holy grey, my favourite one. So we're going to be using this brush by Morphe and it is E48. It's a new brush but... What? And on this side of the face, I'm going to be using the same blender with which we applied the concealer. We're going to be using the powder. So we're going to be using the blender on this side of the face and apply the translucent powder. And the other side, we're going to be using the brush. I don't set my forehead because my forehead is not really oily, but you can like just do it. I like my face because it's winters and it's really dry in our city. Like Karachi is not cold, but it's super dry. So we can't really, you know, uh, use a lot of powder on our skin. But to wipe it off, I always use a brush. Uh, so I would suggest, um, use a brush 
on your under eye. I like it better than the beauty blender because the beauty blender becomes hard when we use powder with it and the next time you use it it's really you know dry and hard so I don't use my beauty blender I just wanted to show you that if you can apply the powder with this one you can for sure but if this is this works better then it works better for me so um, yeah brush for translucent powder like under eye translucent powder next step is uh, contouring Let's contour this chubby face. So are we gonna put the contours on the side of my face first? And I don't cream contour my nose because not on the camera because it's really difficult. So the brush I'll be using for my contours is MAC 130. This one on this side of the face to blend the contours. Let's just do it. Again, just bounce and a the motion should be like upward so your product is blended. But I I think I brought it a little little near the nail. And this side I'm gonna be doing with a brush. Ignore the duck face that I'm making, but it's very important for your contours to be blended. The motions, you can blend your contour in circular motions and I went a little overboard with this cream contour. So which one do you like better? This one or that one? I think my personal opinion is that cream contours uh, are not easy to blend and beauty blenders are a little tricky when it comes to cream contouring and blending them so I like my brush better but if you're comfortable with this this works equally better but since I almost I never get ready in time and I always have like five minutes to get ready brush works for me so guys this is it like the cream contours on both sides of the faces this is beauty blender and this is brush um, which one do you like better I personally like beauty blender for cream contours just because it is very precise and cream contours are really difficult to blend if they're not blended they look they can look really chalky and gray and muddy so beauty blender takes the point for cream contours for sure So this is it guys, my glam is done for today though I don't have to go anywhere but I was here to tell you if the beauty blenders work better than the brushes and they definitely do. The beauty blender got uh, 3 points and the brushes got 1, just the powder application is better than uh, from the brush than the beauty blender. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, let me know if you have any requests, you want any reviews, you want to see a makeup look, just let me know. I am trying to be consistent here on YouTube and I really want to do this. So comment in the comment section down below. Till then, take good care of yourself, be kind to everyone and you can follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and if you have any business queries, I am putting all the details down below. Take care. Bye.